Magnus here for another episode of Let's Play Drakengard 2. In the last episode, we completed our second playthrough, and dragons and giant stone babies fought each other in an epic battle. In this episode, we're going to begin our third playthrough. As you can see, it is red-tinted, just like my completed file, because now we are doing the extreme difficulty of this game. It's much harder than our first playthrough, and a little harder than our second. If we still have all of our weapons and all of our characters unlocked, Legna needs to evolve with the chapters, as he did before. And if you did this right, you should have... 94% of the weapons. If you didn't buy the ones in the store, you should have a significant amount of money to do that. You might not be able to get them all, but you could get a large amount. I would recommend getting all of the weapons before your second playthrough. I probably should have mentioned that before. Or, uh, get all of the weapons you can during your second playthrough from the stores. That way you can use this money to get vitality crystals at the yin-yang. And maybe, like, gold farm a few times for that. But, uh, anyway, let's get started. I'm gonna cut this until we're in the battle with Gizmore so I can show off her new orbs. Or I should say orb. I'll explain why later. Okay, once again, we shall fight Gizmore. I'll start by showing you what the orb we got does. The Eris's one. It puts her in her Goddess of the Seal uniform. I can just get away for a little bit so you can see it better. Damn it, Gizmore, I am trying to... Wait, why is the... Uh, I guess the camera's focused on him, but yeah, this is, uh, Iris's new costume. She now looks like, uh, her goddess of the seal form, but again, the, uh, problem with this is that, yeah, she's in this cool outfit, but you could have put something to buff your defenses with in here instead. So, yeah, and I'll also show you how much more difficult this is. Hit me, Gizmore! Hit me! Hit me, you shit! I'm giving you an opening! Hit me! Yeah, he did half my health as damage. So that's how difficult this playthrough is going to be. Um, Is there really anything else I have to talk about with playthrough C? Well, I've already said how we're going to handle this with the free expeditions and everything. Um, I'm pretty sure we're good, so yeah, I guess I'll just end this here. I mean, I suppose I could try beating him. Actually, yeah, that'd be a good idea. Let me, uh, show beating him. Oh, wait, no, I forgot to mention, uh, Noe's particular item. Now, his is the Knight Orb, and that does exactly what it sounds like. It allows you to have Noe's Knight uniform on for the entire game if you put it on. Even past the point he, where he, uh, leaves the Knights of the Seal. So you could wear this outfit he's currently wearing right now for the entire game. I mean, I don't like it really all that much, so I wouldn't do it, but that's your decision after all. But, uh, yeah, I guess we should start fighting him now. Although I kind of, I don't want to waste my, uh, oh wait, hang on, what is it? Uh, one, two, three, and, uh, and bam, and, uh, You dick. I don't know which of these was better. Ow. We don't need this. I should probably heal. Probably going to die. Let's see if I can do this with very little health. So, yeah, okay. Maybe I was wrong and he doesn't do as much damage as I thought, perhaps, because if he did, that second hit would have done me in. And it doesn't seem like we're having much difficulty with this. But then again, I'm pretty skilled not to toot my own horn. And then I died. I think we'll end this here. See you guys in the next episode, which will be the ending of this playthrough. But you can enjoy the free expeditions and weapon stories that will follow. See you guys then.